as 13.
stand and join us? Isn't Jesus wonderful? Amen. Amen. You may be seated. Praise the Lord. Do you, does anyone need an announcement sheet? Raise your hand if you need one. Praise God. Okay. All right. 
Well, we're glad to have you here today. I have a couple things here. Um, we got to see Carol Jeffs. She is at the Harvard, Harvard Rest Haven at the nursing home in Harvard. If anyone would like to send her a card, or if you'd like to get a card and give it to me, I can take it the next time I go. But her address is, either, is on the pulpit, but it's also in the um, foyer, too, in, on the bulletin board. So if you'd like to send a card to her, it's in the bulletin board or on the pulpit, or just give it to me. And those are ways that you can give her a card. She'd love that. She's doing well. She's healing up. It's going to take a little while. She said it'll be a while, about at least a month. We don't know for sure, but uh, she's having therapy every day. She's walking. She, she's using the arm. So doing well. She was very, very happy to see us. So praise the Lord. That would just encourage her so much if you would just jot her a card, and, and she would enjoy that very, very much. Okay. And then um, we do have, Arlette, you'll have your Bible study tomorrow? Okay. And then we have Healthy Living Class tomorrow evening at 5 o'clock. So that is tomorrow, and then Grub and Grow is Tuesday, and then we have um, Pastor Patsy will be on April 6th, we'll have our healing school, and then on um, this Wednesday, what are we doing? Who remembers? There's a movie, a Mother Teresa movie, No Greater Love, that's going to be at the Crest Theater at 7, so we do not meet at the church, correct? And that's counts as Children's Church and... Um, the youth group, crew, and amped also, they all, we all meet at the theater, okay, and then the next week we do the same thing, right, because I'm going to have my Israel trip talking about that, so that will be good, so for two weeks we'll have that, and then next week right after church, we're going to have a short meeting, we, us we usually always do this, and I'll have the assignment sheets ready for the Easter extravaganza, everyone that's helping, your duties will be on there, and then if we have any questions, we'll just kind of go over everything one more time. And we'll do that next week right after our um, uh, Sunday morning service. And then I didn't get a chance to talk to people individually. But those that were on the, if you signed your name on the clipboard, that's, that's who I'm talking to. Nobody else. Just the ones that signed their name on the clipboard that said that they read their Bibles in 2022. So there's about, and this is, includes the spouses, we were going to have Papa Murphy's Pizza when we found out that Papa Murphy's closed in Hastings and Grand Island. So the closest one is Kearney, and so it, that wouldn't work out very well. So we're going to have Casey's Pizza, but we will still have some homemade desserts and a relish tray. So just like we talked about, we will still have that next week right after church. So those who read their Bibles that signed the clipboard, just the ones that signed the clipboard, you're welcome to come. Um, next week, right after church. Well, of course, we're going to have that. We have choir practice, and we have that short meeting. So I'm sorry we'll get there as quick as we can, but we have a lot going on right now. So that's what we will be doing next week, okay? I hope that's everyone understands that, okay? And then just a reminder, too, that we have our annual Lenten breakfast, and that's at 7 a.m. during Holy Week. That is April 3rd through the 7th, Monday through Friday, Every morning at 7 a.m., we're done before 8. I have ne yet, I have gone to many, many years of those, and I have yet to ever be there after 8 o'clock. So it always gets done before 8 so people can go to work. And we know that our own Tim Crowell will be um, ministering on Tuesday. So that will be great. We appreciate that. So please come. I know Jane is working hard on the, the food. And those of you that signed up, make sure you bring your food next Sunday, okay? So she's going to have a wonderful breakfast for everybody. Praise God. And just a reminder that we're giving our, we want to give to our speaker today. We will wait on our missions project, and we want to bless our speaker, Billy Miller. So make sure that you do that today in Circle Speaker. We appreciate that very much. Glad to have him here. And he will be back tonight at 5 p.m. So make sure you invite other people to come. Amen? And then he's going to minister at Pastor Chad's church Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Is that right? So three days there, Pastor Chad's. He did that last time he came, too, and that works out really, really nice. So glad that he can do that. So why don't you go around and greet each other and tell them Jesus loves you, and so do I.
to get all your money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to tuck it out. This is a loving church. Does everybody love each other? Amen. Are you excited about giving? Shout amen. Good. Glory to God. This is my favorite part of the service. I can give. Pastor John already mentioned to you that um, we would like to give to... Uh, the speaker this morning to bypass everything else that we usually give to so we can bless him. Amen. You know, one of my favorite scriptures is Philippians 419 in the King. I'm going to read from the King James Version. But you know me. I love the word of God. I love all these different translations. It's like eating, eating chicken in all these different ways. You know, have you ever done that? <laughs> you, you fry it. You, you boil it. You fricassee it or whatever else you do and, and make it really, really, really good. But it says, but my God will supply all your needs according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. And um, but listen to this. In the Amplified Bible, the classified, it says, and my God will liberally supply 
fill to the full your every need according to his riches in glory in Christ Jesus. But the Hudson Bible says, and my God on the scale of his wealth will fully supply in Christ Jesus your every need in heaven's glory. Isn't that neat? That is neat. You know, uh, giving beyond the tithe is what you call sowing seed. And when there's no seed in the ground, there will be no crop, no harvest, no increase. So, whenever I experience lack in my life, I don't know what you do, but I start giving. I start giving. I check up on my sowing, and that works. You'd be surprised. You think, well, I just can't afford it. I can't do it. But you can. You step out, and you just stretch yourself, and you do the best you can. And God will never let you down. He always has your back. Amen? So remember, sowing is not throwing. Have you ever thought of that? Sowing's not throwing. You find good ground, very good ground to sow into. And this ministry at Living Faith Fellowship Church is good ground. And this ministry, Billy ministry, is good ground. So sow your seed today. Expect a return so you have more to give in the future. Think about it that way. We're not really giving to get, but you know what happens. When you give, you get. It's just the natural flow, so that's good. I've always been excited about giving all of my life. When I first found out about giving in the Oral Roberts ministry, he taught me that, and I've always abided by that and always been blessed by that. So God bless you this morning. If you would uh, give your offering. Oh, we have to say our confession. I'm not good at this. It's hard to follow Tim Crowell. <laughs> He's a good person. Okay, let's give. As I tithe and give offerings, I'm believing you, Lord, for jobs and better jobs, raises and bonuses, benefits and promotions, sales and commissions, estates and inheritances, interest and income, rebates and returns, discounts and dividends, mail, gifts and surprises, bills decreased, bills paid off, blessings and increase, and greater victories in the midst of greater odds. Thank you, Lord, for meeting all my needs, that I may have more than enough to give to promote the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, amen.
The mind seem a lion He and Columbus sail of a He ball and chevalo. The Salalama Kaide. He cut an eel 
O cara le provaste. I have carried you, upheld by my righteous right hand. In the goodness of my grace, you can always boldly stand. <laughs> The lies of the enemy will fail, but my promises in your heart will always prevail. So just rejoice in who I am, in you. Just declare your victory. Just declare my almightiness in thee. Just know I'll put you over every single time. No holding back am I. My wells of victory will never run dry. You're the apple of my eye And I am watching carefully over you You're in the center of my hand Working to fill my master plan Go forth in what I've called you and everything you need shall come to you. It might have been hard before. Satan attacking as you knock on my door. But now I open unto you. Come on in. Prepared it all for you. You're now at my table. My arms and hands, they are able. Come to your aid, to come and display everything you have need. Just rejoice in my love From your Father who lives above Heaven's best has been given you In the Son that's true Rejoice in Him For I am good my mercy, my mercy, my mercy, my mercy, not the world's mercy, not man's mercy, but my mercy endures forever. My mercy believes in you. My mercy believes in you. My mercy believes in the potential that you have in me because I don't look at yourself I don't look at you in your own flesh I look at you in who I've made you to be so rejoice stand up but Lord I thought I thought I thought it was going to be this way but it ended up being that way know this you just had a run in with the enemy. And he's been declaring through natural circumstances, hath God said. Now it is your choice to believe what you see or believe what you've heard me say. You're at a crossroads. You're at a point of testing. What shall you choose? That shall be your outcome. Choose me. 
Choose life. Choose my glory. Choose rejoicing. Choose praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Choose the victory that I have said is yours in me. Rejoice in me. And watch the enemy run off. Choose me. For I am the greater one. Yeah, there it is. I am the anointed one. And my anointing is in you. And my anointing destroys every yoke. The enemy would falsely accuse you of. Rejoice. Because you are secure in me. I know exactly where you are at all times. And my spirit and my angels are on duty. To bring to pass everything I've said. And everything you believe me for. So don't give up hope. Do not cast away your confidence. For it does have great recompense. A reward. Because as you do the will of God, as you believe my word above all else, I will come to you and I will bless you. I will strengthen you. And the outcome will be just as I said. Not what the devil said. Not what circumstances say. But what I have said shall be because you've kept your faith and trust in me. Says the Spirit of God. Yesu kura beshe, ye ashe agan de ato oke, ara yadisika, ara kadesa, agadeshena, ara kadesa, ara kadesa, ara kadesa, ara kadesa, ara kadesa, ara kadesa. Power of God in Jesus' name. What was that for? That was for help. That was for help. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Woo! Ha 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 ha. Woo! Ha 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 ha. Woo! Ha 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 ha. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Glory to God. Yeah. 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 Ha ha ha. Ha 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 It's all gonna come through. It's all gonna come through. It's all gonna come through. Because you have nothing else to do in this life but obey me. You have the other choices. It's so easy. Just keep going. Just keep going. Ha 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 ha. That ain't a plan. That's no plan at all. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. There's no exit strategy to God's plan. Ha ha ha. Except from glory, going from glory to glory to glory to glory. Ha ha ha. Ha 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Hallelujah. Ora my epakia bias. Ora be a kabai ibarasi. Ora mehira kadesa. 
Ela le corea de soleil. Ma eko e ka i le korobase. La shi la ka i le koro. La bakira kore shenge. O le kare su le kaya ka. Elo le kore se kese. Shira di kare. Anyone in here, you just, it's just like all your symptoms, circumstances. It's like the devil's got you tied up and stuck in a corner. There's no way to get out. Anyone here, I'm not talking about that, that you, that's what your faith is saying. I'm talking about that's what your circumstances are saying. If that's you, why don't you come up here? There's an, there is an anointing to, to, get, to, to take care of that situation. Yeah, just anyone at all. Stand right there, sister. Power of God. Loose her. Loose her. Be loosed. Be free. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Anyone else? I don't care how mighty we are. <laughs> Elijah ran. No, I'm not Elijah. There have been times I've run. I'm just, this is, God is wanting to help you and you quote a running time. There's nothing wrong with asking or needing help. And the anointing's here right now to assist you. He is called the helper. If, if, if the enemy's just dogging you, and you've been tempted to run the other way, come up here right now. God will help you. He is an ever-present help in time of need. Anyone else? Don't let pride keep you away from God's help. Thank you, sister. Just come on over here. Power of God. Loose it in her. Be loosed. Be free. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Father God. There's at least two more people in here that need to come up here. Two more. God, move through him, bring forth healing, deliverance, and freedom, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, hallelujah, in Jesus' name, thank you, sir. God. Power of God. Power of God. Ye that do that. Ha ha ha. What a lab what an elaborate trap the Satan has set for you. Ha ha ha. It's being disassembled. Ha ha ha. It's falling. It's caving in on itself. Ha ha ha. After God's done with that thing, it won't even seem like it was there at all. Ha 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 ha! Thank you, Father. God's in the deconstruction business right now. He's taking a wrecker to everything the devil's tried to mount up against you, and it's all going to fall apart. 
And you're, you're even going to come out, you're not just going to be saved, you're going to come out and profit in this thing. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. of God loosen her bring forth the victory and the desired result in Jesus name no weapon formed against her can prosper every tongue that rises up in judgment against her she does condemn for her for this is the heritage of the servants of the Lord and her righteousness is of the Lord thank you Father God hallelujah in Jesus name amen hallelujah Glory, 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 glory. One of the oldest things of the devil, I don't need to bother God with this. I can handle this myself. I know you're all too smart for that in here. But just in case, you've been playing those words over in your mind. When help is offered, there's a reason God offers it. One more time. Anyone at all? God supply 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 ha 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 in Jesus name thank you for the great supply thank you for the great supply thank you for the yeah not just for you but more than enough for others too you know, when Peter went down to the shore and he threw in that net for the fish, he got that gold coin out of the fish's mouth. But what did he do with all the rest of the fish? He didn't throw them back. He is a businessman. He sold them. And God not only paid the taxes, but God blessed him in his business on top of that. Spirit of supply in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Now take a little extra time to wait upon God. He's going to show you a few different ways to do some things. And this is not going to happen again. Because wisdom is being imparted. And it's going to be better. And it's going to be lighter. And it's going to be easier. Because you'll be doing things in God's sight, with God's insight, with God's wisdom. His way of doing and being right will benefit him, benefit you, and take care of every, every, all those needs. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. guys have been so patient. Thank you very much. You guys rock. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. You guys flow together good. There's an anointing when you guys play. Thank you very much. To the keyboardist, to the drummer, 
there? Yes, sir. Amen. To the basis, bless you, sir. Thank you. To the guitarist, thank you, sir. Thank you. Whew. Glory to God. Okay, we've got to wrap the service up right now. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I found the bowl of candy. <laughs> Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. Glory, to God. glory, glory. Glory, glory, glory. Glory, glory, glory. Glory, glory, glory. This is someone in here, you're having trouble in your neck and shoulders. Trouble with your neck and shoulders. There she is. Yeah. I like get my hands on people. Ah! Yeah, it might come back at you. We'll just give you a chiropractor. No, I'm just kidding. We're not going to do any chiropractic moves. I'm not licensed to be. I'm just. I just lay hands on people. Okay. Just give me your hands. <sighs> Father God, right now in Jesus' name, from the top of her head, right there in the crown of her head, going all the way down through her neck and into her shoulders, in Jesus' name. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Heavenly Father. There it is. Just Thank going down. I feel it going right down on my shoulders right now. Thank you, Father. All tension. Thank you. In Jesus' name. All the way down through your back, too. All the way down into your lower back. Maybe even into your hips. And the power. There it is. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Just refreshing. Tension, go. Tension. There's a chair behind you. Tension, go. Thank you, Lord. Tension go, pain go, healing be established in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Jesus' name. Jesus' name. Jesus' name. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Sister, how is it? Better. Amen. Just keep, let's keep working it. Spirit of God, keep ministering to you. Same, same thing? Same thing. All right. Amen. Power of God. Loose to her. Your healing power. There it is right there. There it is right there. There it is right there. I commend every vertebrae, every disc. To be line in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father God, for complete and total healing. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. Hallelujah. Just, just work it. I disobeyed God, so. No, you don't have to stand up. Of God, be loosed in her. Be loosed in her. In Jesus' name, Amen. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, Hallelujah. How is it, sister? Good. Hallelujah. I've been arguing with God. L Lord, why do I have to yell? 
The only conclusion I can is because it works. <laughs> it's my personality, I guess. Sometimes God comes softly, quietly. And when he comes loud, you, i got to obey him. I'm not, I'm not trying to rattle your nerves or rattle, rattle the rafters, but it's, I, th I guess it comes with a command. Uh, this is an interesting word. Never called it out before, and I'll use I'll I'll use a word that that disguises it a little, little bit. Is there someone in here that you're having trouble with your sphincter? Do you know what a sphincter is? Food goes in one place, and food goes out the other place. Talk about the other place. Don't be embarrassed. God wants to minister to that. You've been having issues there? Come on up here. Thank you, dear sister, for your bravery. Just sit down. It's okay. Power of God! Loosen her body. Bring forth the perfect and complete healing. Clear anything out that's not supposed to be there. In Jesus' name, cause full function, full restoration, full control. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, amen. Power of God, loosen my sister the healing she needs, the healing she desires. I command that part of her body to be well. To be normal. To be whole. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Father, you said you, re you restore our youth as the eagles. No, thank you, Father. <laughs> we don't have to start falling apart <laughs> before we go to heaven. Thank you, Father God, for keeping this young girl together. And I thank you, Father God, for it. In Jesus' name. <laughs> Amen. 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 Thank you. Amen. <laughs> Thank you. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Ora ma shike asaraya kaya. Ele lo kuriya sike kuriya saya. O kuriya suri kuriya sara. I turi asukuri di shike Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, Father God. Hallelujah. We worship you, Jesus. We glorify your holy name. We praise you, Lord Jesus. 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 O Ramakariki Sekaras, Ser Rudik, the Staker Stea, Yeshurika Seder Kuresir. The lady on the, not the back row, but close, she's got a black sweatshirt on. Got something out. You, you just open your eyes. Heavenly Father wants to tell you that He is an ever present help in time of need. He's an ever-present help in time of need. He's an ever-present help in time of need. Every time you hurt, he hurts. Every time you've been let down, he feels it. He's going to do something about it. Father God, right now, I release mercy. I release patience. I release peace. And I release your angels to go and minister in her behalf. In Jesus' name. <clears throat> what people have done to take things, 
God, you can put them back. And Father, you can even bless those ignorant suckers. <laughs> because they didn't know what they are doing. They are just listening to the devil. The devil will use anybody he can. Even people close. Just remember this, sister. The Bible says that he came, Jesus came into his own, and his own received him not. There's a prophetic scripture in Isaiah, I believe, that says, they ask him, where did you find, where did you get your scars? He said, I got them in the house of my friends. Jesus knows what it's like to be betrayed. Jesus knows what it's like to be hurt. But through resurrection power, <laughs> he come out of that grave. He overcame everything. And he got put in the position that God had preordained for him. Remember the life of Joseph? Sorry, my uh, phone is not shut off. Pardon the interruption. That's my fault. Joseph got a visitation from God. Joseph was excited. He thought everybody else would be excited too. No. That's why you be careful who you share your vision with. Next thing you know, they put him in a hole. Sold him as a slave. And for many years, he was a slave. God used him. God blessed him. God prospered him where he was. But finally, he was in prison. But one day, that which God had placed in him brought him forth and put him in the position that God had intended for him. The Lord Jesus Christ and Joseph are two great examples of the scripture in Hebrews 13. It says, I will never leave you or forsake you, that you may boldly say, the Lord is my helper. I will not fear what man may do unto me. Dear sister, just the, by an encouragement of the Spirit of God, let all that stuff go. Forgive everyone that's done stuff against you. <laughs> yeah, it's hard. It's sometimes, I can't believe this has happened. But it did. Your, conf your, faith had not, your faith failure had nothing to do with that. That was, that was a person. You, your faith cannot over override someone else's will. But what your faith can do is overcome what they did. This is the victory that overcomes the world, even our faith. You just got it. You just got dealt. A, you just got it dealt a hand by the world. But God. But God. But God. Ha, ha, ha. Just let them go. Just let them go. Just forgive them. Just let them go. And watch the mercy of God, the mercy of the great shepherd, pour back into your life twice as much as what you had before. Okay? Okay? He loves you. Could we have a good trusted sister just to go over there and, 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 and hug her? We're all these trusted sisters. Get in there and show her, show her God's love and care and concern. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, dear sisters. Appreciate it. Everybody say this. The Lord is good. The Lord is good. And His mercy. And His mercy. His mercy. His mercy. Endure forever. Endure forever. The Lord is good. The Lord is good. 
and his mercy endureth forever. Let's go to Psalms 23. I think we'll continue along in that. Man, I tell you what, it's hard for me to stand up. I'm not hanging on this pulpit because I'm trying to look like Billy Graham. That's like... (laughs) 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 Hallelujah. I say that again. The Lord is good. good. His mercy endure forever. forever. You found Psalm 23? Okay, just keep there. I've got to say something else. When Jehoshaphat and the children of Judah were attacked by Moab, Ammon, and Mount Seir, and they they went before God, and uh, Thoughts are coming. Uh, for God to ask for help. God told him where to go and he would deliver them. You don't have to fight in this battle. Stand ye still and see the salvation of the Lord. He even told him where to go. They got down there. And Jeho- Jehoshaphat sent out, sent out the singers. Mm-hmm. And told them to praise the beauty of holiness. And they sang these words. For the Lord is good. And his mercy. Endureth forever. One thing David said about God. He said Lord. Your gentleness. Has made me great. Here's another one for you. Our faith that overcomes the world. Our faith works by love. The greatest attribute that your Heavenly Father has is His ability to come in and surround you and cushion you and support you and minister to you with His love No, we start the second service. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Surrounds us, comes in, and totally bolsters us up from the inside out with his love. Amen. With his love. Most people, Christians, in this life will never hear a harsh word from the Heavenly Father. No, that, I'm not saying everyone. There's some out there that, that can hear a harsh word. That's only because God wants to save you alive because they haven't heard anything else. But normally, God's first line of communication is a still small voice. It's, it's the Word of God. And it's, and it's Him leading us. Let's go there. Psalms chapter 23. <clears throat> How many of you think, what do you think of when you hear the word shepherd? What type of person would that be? Loving, Loving gentle. Caring. How many know you can't drive sheep? <laughs> Herding sheep? No. You can herd cows. I was going to say that. Herding cats. <laughs> But sheep don't go, ah, they go, ma, ma, ma. You can't herd, you can't drive sheep. You herd them. And the only way a sheep will follow you is if it gains, if, if you gain its trust. There's a lot of sheep out there that are trying to act like goats. And it's not their nature. Why? 
because they haven't learned to trust the voice of the shepherd. The shepherd's got great green pasture over here. And they're over there eating, 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 the, eating, the, 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 eating the paper off of tin cans. Over there eating thistles. I mean, goats are great for cleaning up pastures, but it's not God's idea of his people for his people to live. Psalms 23. Everybody say, I trust my God to be my shepherd. I trust my God with every day of my life because he is good and his mercy endureth forever. I don't know. I'm, I'm probably the only one that's ever, ever, that's ever been boneheaded. I'll trust God today, yeah. But I'm feeling ornery today. <laughs> I know God. Oh, I know God wants me to do that or doesn't want me to do that. But you know what? Jesus is my Savior, but He's not my Lord today. I'm going to make myself the Lord today. Don't, ever, don't, don't raise your hand. How many have ever done that? <laughs> Bought the T-shirt, tried to burn it, still got it. I'm going to be Lord for a day. No, it won't, it don't work. You usually, you usually end up spending half a, half, a, half a year paying for it. God wants us, Jesus wants us to be, for us to be his, Jesus wants him, himself to be our Lord every single day. Amen. That doesn't mean you have to check with him on everything. Lord, well, you don't, there's some certain things you don't have to chat, ask God about, like going to church on Sunday, right. paying your tithe, That's right. walking in love. Amen. Lord, should I hit that person or not? <laughs> no, I, I. <laughs> How about if I just lay hands on them quick, fast, and repeatedly? <laughs> no. You don't do that. Because someone else is out there looking for Jesus and you. Jesus wants to be our Lord. Jesus is a Lord. Jesus is our shepherd. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. Those still waters are so wonderful. I know waterfalls are beautiful. You know what you, know what you see in deep pools? Still water? You look, in the, you look in those pools and guess what you see? You see yourself. These deep, these deep pools speak of meditation in God's Word. The Bible says when we look in the Word, we see ourselves. And as we see ourselves in His words, meditation upon who He's made us to be in His Word, we are changed from that glory to His glory. He leads us beside the still waters. Through His Word and meditation in His Word, He restores our soul. He leads us in paths of righteousness for his namesake. The Spirit of God, the, the, the shepherd, would never lead us in any way that would lead us away from him. He's always leading us closer and closer and closer and closer and closer and closer to him. You know what a byproduct that is? The things that used to mess us up don't mess us up anymore. They lose all attraction. Come on. Amen. 
Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. If you're with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. When we practice walking with the one who loves us the most, anything we come against, guess what our first inclination is? To trust him. Perfect love casts out fear. Faith over fear. Love over distrust. Because we're following the voice of the shepherd. Because we know above all things. You may not, you may not have chapter and verse. You may not be able to quote the latest confession. You may, blah, 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 blah. Oh, I'm super. I'm a man of faith. I'm, I'm a fan of man of faith and power. I can confess it and it'll come to pass. La, 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 la. That may be. But the strongest thing is to have a, a, a deep foundation of trust because you know that you know that you know that you know that you know. You may not know everything, but you know that your Heavenly Father will never let you down. You know He loves you. You know He's a God of His Word. And all these things will work together for your good. Because you love him. He loves you. And he's called you according to his purpose. Come on now. Amen. I'll fear no evil for, your, for you with me. You rod and your staff, they cover me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You know what my head with oil, my cup runs over. Just because you see enemies, the heart faith of love that you have in the, fa in the Father, that you have in Jesus the Shepherd, you may be seeing enemies right now, but some there, somewhere in there, you know that he's prepared the table for you. Use your authority, bind up those enemies, and you will come to your table. You'll come to your provision. You come to your place of blessing. Come on now. Amen. Come on now. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Every promise in the book is mine. Every chapter, every verse, every line. I'm trusting in his word divine. Every promise in the book is mine, 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 mine. You can take it to the bank. Well, not some banks nowadays, but... <laughs> You can always take it to God's bank. Hey, if, if I'm, I'm, I'm being honest. If, if you bank at any banks that has a woke agenda, get your money out right now. Yeah. Like one guy said, if you go woke, you go broke. Yeah. Uh, it's, not, it's actually not a funny thing. A lot of people are in a lot, a lot of despair. But... Uh, He prepares a table before us in the presence of our enemies. And his table's full. His table is good. On his table is everything you and I have need of, everything you and I desire. Because it's the Lord's table. Remember the story of Mephibosheth? Try to say that word and be a stutter. They'll think you're filled with the Holy Ghost. <laughs> Staring lips! Ha ha! No. Mephibosheth. He was, man. He was Saul, Jonathan's only son. They were trying to run from David because they didn't know David. They, they had, the people lied about David. And on the way out, the nurse dropped him. And his, and, and his legs became deformed. And he was lame the rest of his life. David searched high and low for, for Mephibosheth. He finally found him. 
David came in. Mephibosheth's going, thought he was going to kill him. No. This is my, this is my paraphrase story. They took him and put him, put him in David's prized chariot. Drove him to, to Jerusalem. Restored to Mephibosheth all of King Saul's lands, honor, gold, treasures, and holdings. But above that, he sat Mephibosheth beside him at the king's table. He prepares a table before us in the presence of our enemies. Not only does he restore the things that the devil that the, that the devil stole, but you and I sit at the king's table. You and I sit at the king's table. Amen. If we're willing and obedient, we eat the good of the land. We sit at the king's table. We don't have to settle for the devil's scraps. We sit at the king's table. He anoints our head with oil. Our cup runs over. So the kids go, woohoo! <laughs> Yippee! It's okay to have joy. Amen. Have you ever gotten blessed and wanted to rejoice? But you felt guilty because people around you weren't, weren't having it so good. So you kind of quieted it down. Now you, you can look at that too. You want to be respectful to people. But on the other side, you could present it in such a way that's not going to offend them. They can ask you what, what, what's going on. And you can use that as a testimony of the goodness of God. And say, my father, Heavenly Father, he's a loving father. He wants to be your father too. He prepares a table before us in the presence of our enemies. We sit at the king's table. Surely goodness and mercy. We follow us. In other words, another meaning says, says he accompanies us. All, 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 all the days of our life. Remember when I was talking about I want to be Lord for a day? Well, surely goodness and mercy goes with us all the days of our life. If we choose to keep Jesus as the Lord every day of our life, surely goodness and mercy walking with us. If we don't, well, see how that works out for you. He loves us. He cares about us. And when we follow him, he becomes our portion. He becomes our supply. He becomes our righteousness. He becomes our strength. He becomes our confidence. It's in Him we live. It's in Him we move. And it's, him we ha it's in Him we have our being. Whew. Because we follow the shepherd. Because He is good. And His mercy endureth forever. Everybody say this with me. I trust my Heavenly Father Explicitly. Because I know. Because I know. That my Heavenly Father loves me. Because I know He loves me. He cares for me. Because He loves me. He will never lie to me. Therefore whatever He says. In His word. About any situation. I can take that to the bank. I can trust that 
above the lying vanities, the lying circumstances, the false evidence, the fake news that the devil tries to show me. By love, I walk by faith and not by sight because I know my father's character. I know he loves me. He never lied to me. Never let me down. He is my heavenly father. He's my loving savior. And in all these things, he makes me to be more than a conqueror through him that loves me. Therefore, Jesus, I commit myself again to make you the shepherd of my life. The Lord, not just of my life, but the Lord of every day. Because your love is new every morning. Your love is waiting to empower my faith to receive what it desires as I follow you. Because Jesus, you are my Lord. You are my love. And you're everything I desire. And when, I, and when you come, everything you have comes with you. And I thank you, Father God, for it. In Jesus' name, amen. Praise God. Well, it's been great. Amen. And we have, for a $3 missionary offering, a CD or a DVD of this morning's service. If you go back to the right, my right, over there to the usher station, there's a blue dotted envelope you can fill out for that. And then also tonight, you can get a, a DVD or a CD, but we encourage you to come back tonight. Invite people to come, too. Amen. Wonderful. Preci precious anointing. Amen. Amen. So please come back. We would love to have you. Amen. <laughs> We're having choir practice right after this. But, um, I'll be in the foyer. Billy, if you want to, want to come out, we can greet people as they leave today in the foyer. And he'll be back at 5 o'clock tonight. God bless you. We have. Do you have any, before we go here quickly, do you have any prayer requests? Anybody? Everybody good? All right. We'll see you tonight at 5 p.m. God bless you. Have a great afternoon.